Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we are going to be taking a look at a product called iWalk 2.0, and that's what we have here. I've seen it out there on the market a little bit. I wanted to check it out, so we purchased it, and we're gonna take a look at it today. This first video is going to be about how to put it together. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to our site and check us out on aecorner.com. Please like us on Facebook so that we can continue to make these videos for you. So we're going to go into how to put this together. This is going to be a general um, assembly here showing you how to put this together. We will have this linked in the comment section below. There is a lot more details. When you go to the product, go down to the bottom of the page. Please review all the information so that you know whether or not this product is right for you. It is advertised as a hands-free crutch you need to have 90 degrees of knee bend to be able to use it. You need to be 275 pounds or less. Your upper circumference of your thigh needs to be 28 inches or less. You need to have a decent amount of balance. You should be able to stand on one leg for 30 seconds. You should have been able to walk fluidly up and down steps before your injury without using rails for this to be appropriate for you. This is a one size fits most. If you're between five foot one and six foot two, this will work for you. If you are under five foot one or over six foot two, again, you need to take a look at the description. It might work, but you need to take a look at further details. So let's get started on putting this together. First of all, we have this uh, iWalk knee trough here, okay? So the very first thing we're gonna put together on it is the front portion of this. This is what they're calling the handle on the front portion of this. So you're going to put these holes right here in the front of the knee trough, okay? So it's gonna slide down. Now when you slide these down, there are holes that you should see aligned right here at the bottom of the knee trough, all right? So those holes you need to make sure that are, are aligned. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna take these two small support braces. One of them is labeled with an R, so that's going to go on the right side. The other one actually doesn't have a letter on it, it doesn't have left on it. So the next thing you're going to do is take this. You're going to stick this in this hole right here. Make sure it lines up with the top piece. There is a press button here to press this in. And we're going to line that up here. Oops, we've got it on the other side. There we go. Okay, and you hear it lock into place, and you want to give it a little pull to make sure that is there. The only reason I was having trouble there is this little clamp right down here, if it's off center, it may get in your way, so just make sure this support leg is on the outside of it. Now this is a no tools required assembly. The only thing that you may need uh, to help you if this clamp is on there pretty tight is you may want a, a screwdriver to help you move this one way or the other, because once you uh, put a bolt in this, you're going to want that lined up appropriately, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So we're going to slide the left support in the other side, okay, so we're going to put that in here, put this on the outside, push button in here, make sure it clicks in, oops, we didn't catch it, so we're going to pull that back out of here, pop that back out, and to push this button back out, I needed a little bit of assistance, but we're going to make sure that this is slid down in there. I didn't quite catch it. Here we go. Okay, now we got it. Okay, so there's the front portion of that. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the walking foot on this. Now, the walking foot will tell you exactly what you need to do with it. It is labeled left front or right front. So depending on which leg you're using this for, the label goes to the front. So I'm using it on the right side, right front, right here. So that's what we're going to put. That's going to face the front with this handle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these push buttons and we're going to put it in here. Now you need to be careful of the push buttons. I'm going to use a little bit of tension here against my body to help me, but you got to be careful of these because they can pinch your fingers. So you've got to watch when you're doing this. So I'm going to push these buttons in and we're going to slide it on up here and then you can hear it lock into place, okay? Now, next part of the assembly is gonna be down here at the bottom. You are going to add a, a support bolt and a support nut here, 
you're going to put that through here. Now this is the portion I was telling you that you may need a screwdriver to help align um, this little clamp down here. There's a notch in the, the pole, the support pole here, and they want that clamp kind of right in the middle of that notch. If the clamp is too hard to turn, which this one is not, but if it's too hard to turn, you may want to use a uh, screwdriver to help just turn that clamp a little bit. But the notch in that is going to line up with the opening of your clamp. So what you're going to do is put this bolt in and you're going to pull these here. Now what I'll tell you is, is when you're, when you're putting this together, before you really figure out the alignment, and as you go through the directions, it will tell you this, but you don't want to tighten this down right away because then it's not going to allow you to adjust the height of the foot here. So we're going to put this on loosely and that will still allow us to adjust the height of the foot. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top here. These little wings right here are your thigh supports, okay? So you have some thumb screws that are going to go in the top here to help pull these thigh supports up and to adjust them. So in the top of this piece, you're going to put one of your thumb screws in. There's a little nut inside here that you're going to catch the thumb screw with. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that th thumb screw down in here and we're going to make sure that we catch the nut here. Okay, and again, we're not going to tighten these because we want to be able to, when we go to the adjustment, we want to be able to adjust these thigh supports. So we're going to do the other side here as well. I'm going to put this in. We're going to make sure that we catch the nut, but not... There we go. We're not going to put it on too tight. Okay? And then lastly, we have three straps that go on here. Now the straps, you're going to have one for the thigh, you're going to have one across the back of the knee and across the calf. So that's what these are. You've got two different colored buckles on these straps. So the black buckle is going to be your stationary buckle. This uh, light gray buckle is going to be the one that you put on and release when you're taking the uh, brace on and off. So I'm going to show you this. All right, so this is one of the, the um, straps that goes over, let's see, this is my thigh strap here. So we're going to put it on the outside of the thigh support. And so how this works is it slides over this little plastic piece here. So it has an opening, you slide it, and you're pulling it back and it kind of locks in. All right, so that's how you attach that there. Then you're going to attach the one that goes behind the knee. And again, you've got your little stationary plastic piece here. And this is a very durable, hard plastic, just for information's sake. And you're going to pull that back into place. And then you've got one right back here that's going to go over the back of your calf. And they recommend this um, little thing here will slide back and forth in here a little bit, but you want it pretty far back on your calf to help support back in this area. And we'll show you a little bit more about that when we, when we put it on and use it. So we're going to slide this in here, again, over the plastic, and pull it up, and that cinches it, okay? So we're going to show you how to use the other buckles um, in a little bit when we uh, put this on and use it. So stay tuned to our next video when we show you how to use it. This iWalk 2.0 is only used for injuries below the knee and into the ankle, nothing at the knee or above. So that's what it's used for. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.